And then once the bill comes down through the legislature in New York and New York gets made, Pennsylvania is this close. They'll have it yeah, probably we're only a, couple a couple of weeks. Yeah, states away from being majority. <clears throat> the federal government has to fall, correct? Exactly. Once enough people fall under but legalized. One of the is that we look back in time. If we look back in time. We look back in time. Prohibition happened with alcohol, and the oh, amount of states that said, "Hey, we're going to prohibit alcohol," like Maine started. It. We have more people in, all over in California now that we had back then that created a vote to take away prohibition and add prohibition. It's crazy. Politicians know that the populous states and even the unpopulated states favor medical marijuana, favor legal marijuana in a lot of cases. And once that number of people are no longer under federal regulation but state regulation, the feds are going to tax and, and pass some kind of a reform bill. Uh, at the very least, marijuana will go back to Schedule 2 where it belonged, not Schedule 1. Barney Frank's bill. Uh, would be enough to bust everything open, yeah. even though it's it's a very moderate bill. It, it would it would kick the door open. Then the next thing somebody would pass a tax, and then in, then we're legitimate yeah. all the way around. And we're working real hard here in Colorado. We have Amendment 20 here in the state of Colorado, constitutional right. We're one, we're the only state that's got that right now. And we take advantage of that. We don't want our constitutional rights fucked with. And uh, we fight. We have Rob Corey, Jessica Corey, Warren Etson, these great attorneys that do a lot of pro bono work here in the state of Colorado that are helping to push this. Rick Cusick, good friend of mine over at High Times. Danny Danko, Michael, and all those guys, good friends of ours. Rick, Danny, yeah. the Bean. Yeah. You know, High Times has done three covers from the day I went to jail when I was supposed to be released 10 years ago and they screwed up my sentence computation. I spent 10 years in that I shouldn't have been in, only because of a mathematical error that they absolutely refused to at least, and I spent 10 years in that I shouldn't have. And you only hear about that on TV. This is a real true story, folks. And you got it. I mean, the Black Tuna Diaries, he's holding up the book right now. This is available in all bookstores, I'm assuming. No bookstores? Where do you got to go? unedited. It's the only edition that'll be out before the movie. Okay. Uh, you know Cocaine Cowboys, the movie? Yeah. Great movie? Great movie. That was made by Rack and Tour, uh, directed by Billy Corbin, dire uh, produced by Alfred Spellman, and they've just finished a movie called Square Grouper, based in large part on my book. Uh, just like Cocaine Cowboys was all interviews with the people involved, uh, I'm in a lot of the uh, footage, as is my wife, my captain, my crew, the DEA agents who busted us, the lawyers who defended us, the prosecutors who prosecuted us. It's done in that same quick storytelling mode. These guys are great filmmakers. And uh, we're going to premiere it at the Cup in Amsterdam with High year. Times. High Times is co-oping the premiere. Nice. No, this year. Oh yeah, this year, 2010, sorry. The, yeah. I, the cup just happened recently, it's coming back again November. In fact, you know, High Times is starting a cup in San Francisco yes, big for, their, for their medical marijuana. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna be on the panel there, right. and we will have a teaser for the movie. Oh, very good. We've already talked to Rick Cusick. He's going to make sure of it. And, uh, yeah, we got the normal conference, I think, June 20th here at the Gantt in Aspen again. And then we got to quickly fly out of town and head to San Francisco for the new medical marijuana. Guys, this is North, North America's first cannabis cup with medical marijuana. High Times is getting involved, bringing it over from Amsterdam, trying to grab that same feeling we get over there. And where can they get a book if somebody Only wants Only place it? they can get it if they don't see me live and they're not... There's only a couple hundred left from the limited edition. This is unedited, and there's stories in here that won't be in the, the big edition when I sell it to a publisher, which I've been waiting until the movie comes out. Thanks. They can get it on my website, blacktunadiaries.com, www.blacktunadiaries.com. And if they want to join the Black Tuna Gang, you know, if you go on the DEA website, it says this is the secret medallion no, of the Black right. Tuna Gang. I want to join. I want yeah, in. Well, Anything to piss them off, I'm in. If you want to join the gang, these are uh, finished in real 22 carat, and they're only 20 bucks. Oh, uh, awesome. I'm going over to buy a book, and get. I'm getting in the gang today, guys. This, Hey, you know what? This gentleman here, um, Robert, has been through quite 
a lot in his life, and he has got the stories to tell you. If you want to read the actual truth about what's going on uh, in the jail system, in society, what he had to go through, what he was thinking in his head back 30 years ago or whatever it was, and, and really you can get into his head by getting this book. So uh, www.blacktunadiaries.com, blacktunadiaries.com. Check this out and definitely uh, become part of the gang because by doing so, we're starting a movement, are we not? Are we not working towards something? I've been working for the movement since the 70s and from the day I got out of prison for normal, for the organization in Florida called PUFM, uh, P-U-F-M-M, People United for Medical Marijuana. And if anybody in Florida wants to see it legalized as badly as I do, get on the web, PUFM.org, and volunteer and help us collect signatures because the uh, amendment's already been okayed by the legislature. All we have to do is get enough signatures and get it on the ballot. Wow, and that's something I didn't expect down in Florida, not in a Bush state. Uh, you know. I've been working my butt off since the day I walked out of prison to, to get it at least medical yeah. in, in the state of Florida, and we need help. Not, not anything but volunteers because the people are willing. Any play, I've gone to rock concerts and had a thousand people run down on me and, and want to sign the petition. And I haven't had enough people working with me to get them all filled out. Well, it sounds like Green Radio might have to take a trip to Florida and help out what's going on down there. Uh, listen, we're here with the Black Tuna. Get over to uh, the www.blacktunadiaries.com. Man, there are so many stories. And, you know, you're going to read about reality, and that's what it's about, the truth and what actually happens. We want to thank Robert for coming by. Thank you very much for coming by Greener Radio. You have a great day and enjoy Aspen. This is just the nicest town, but I'll tell you what. That drive back to Denver, I couldn't afford to fly into Aspen. It cost twice as much yeah, as flying to Denver. And so I rented a little car and drove. I'm never so scared of anything in my life as that road. <laughs> wow, through the mountains, 80, 90 miles an hour, because I had to get here for the press party. That was crazy. And I didn't know if that little Hyundai would hang on to the road. I didn't know how the road was banked. And now I'm thinking about driving back. Uh-oh. But I'll catch a plane tomorrow morning. Uh, be back in West Palm, and I'll be I making it. Uh, for all the horse shows, a friend of mine uh, hanging out, so I was right there. Yeah, I live right near there. Nice. And uh, I'll be doing a 420 at, at a big club in Lake Placid. Excellent. Propaganda. Hey, hey, you guys, that's the Black Tuna. We're out. I'm Richie Rich, Greener Radio, baby.